route to Candy. How far is Candy? Uh, 30 minutes? Uh, no, uh, well, yes, 30 minutes. Uh, 40, 40, 40. Oh, 45 minutes, nice. So no, not too 30 minutes. Oh, very nice time. Perfect, perfect. All right, here we go, guys. Back to Candy. Hi ho, hi ho, back to Candy we go. As you can see, it's pretty slow moving traffic here on Monday and in going into Candy. So just backed up traffic, kind of been moving at the same speed for the last 10, 15 minutes or so. We've got some tuk-tuks that are brave going against oncoming traffic, sending it. And it seems like he's having some success. Same with the motorcycles following their lead. All right, guys, and we are back in Candy. My hotel just called me because I guess the door was left open a little bit on my balcony. That monkeys broke into my room and they were like, which I'm very worried about because monkeys are like notorious for taking electronics and you'll never see them again. And I have like my laptop in there. I have like hard drives, just like stuff that, if other stuff got taken, it'd be one thing, but like electronics are where it's very dangerous because I'd lose files and stuff. So I'm very nervous right now, guys. I don't know, apparently they messed up the room, but they're, the hotel's waiting for, they, they chased the monkeys out. They said nothing got taken, but how would they know nothing got taken because they don't have an inventory of what type of stuff I have. But it's my fault for leaving the door open, so my stupidity. But uh, I guess you live and you learn. So we're cruising this way. As you can see, there's a lot going on in Candy right now. We got buses coming this way, buses that way, buses over there, rickshaws sneaking in the, the areas here. But uh, it's all part of the adventure, right guys? And guys, we're about to arrive back to the hotel. I am so nervous getting back to this place. I don't know what I'm about to walk into. Yeah, it's the white one right here, San Adriano. Might be a very, very expensive day if the monkeys took stuff. We'll find out here real soon, though. Ah, Machang, astute. Thank you so much. Okay, so welcome. We will see you next time. Thank you very much, Machang. Okay, thank you, sir. Please wait, sir. Oh, yeah. I can just hop out right here, Machang. Sorry, sorry. Here, okay. Okay, sir. Thank Goodbye. you, sir. Goodbye, See you. sir. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. All right, guys, and we are back. Oh, oh hello. Boy. Oh, they, they are very smart. They can open like this. Oh no. shit. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh yeah, but immediately we are sending and throw it. Mm. We they are sorry. Oh, they saw it. And when I sent the housekeeping from other room and oh. jump to the room, oh, throw okay. it. But that time open. Oh crap. <laughs> Where are you that time? In the city. Uh, no, I was down, down at the, the, the temple. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, let's, let's hope. So what time are trying to check out? Uh, in a couple hours. Cause How I should... do you maintain? You don't just come up like this. You eat a little bit? Mm. Not eating flour or what? I, I eat a lot. Yeah. You're walking and... You know? Oh, yeah, I walk a lot. Yeah, exactly. See, like, doing that, stomach, I want to reduce more. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, we gotta, gotta get the... I don't like this. Yeah, Chicken biryanis? Yeah, uh, right. Good yeah. stuff. Yeah, then. Up. Get out. Look at it. Holy shit, there's piss. Oh, they pissed all over the desk? Yeah. Take your items. Whoa. Oh, they ripped open the first aid kit. This was open. Yeah, they try to eat something. Oh, they even take copy they outside. Yeah, they pissed all over it. Oh, they ripped through all my pill bottles. See? Hmm. Yeah, you can even see the monkey's footprints on there. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah, they definitely couldn't open that, thank goodness. They ripped through all the prescription medications. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, and they peed yeah, everywhere. Yeah, you think from uh, there, we will clean all this one and mop it and clean properly. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, you you are you are think first mm. and uh, call him boy boy. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank uh, you so much. We remove the then cloth is gone. Yeah, guys. So as you can see here, literally everything's pissed on. Oh shit! There's my microphone. Oh wow. Oh, there's literally like. They went in the first aid kit, somehow opened it. Oh, they're smart little guys, aren't they? But luckily they didn't steal anything. <clears throat> I'm super lucky they didn't steal anything because like some monkeys are just kind of like programmed oh, to take stuff, yeah? Oh, they've got the Advil over here. Oh yeah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Oh, wow. So the monkeys probably ate this. These are pain relievers, so they're probably feeling pretty good right now. <laughs> Whoa, they ripped this apart. I think these are my anti-malaria medication. <laughs> oh, holy crap. Guys, I'm, I'm literally in shock. Those monkeys, like, since they broke in and ate that stuff, like, they could literally die from that because they broke this open and these, like, this was... They probably ate maybe 50% of them. This wasn't a full bottle, but there's a lot that are missing. And like this right here, they just, look at that. They just literally ripped open the plastic. And like, I have no, like these are probably expired too. They're anti-malaria medication. So I, you know, I feel bad for the monkeys. They're probably just hungry, but like they're, like they ate medications. I don't even like, I'm pretty sure this was like zipped too. Wow. I'm, I'm lucky they didn't like pee on my laptop because you can see from the right angle, I don't know, hopefully, can you guys see that? Yeah, that's a monkey footprint. Those are all monkey footprints. And like the tables were all moved around out here. And there's signs of them, they, there's some of their shit there, so... Luckily they didn't poop on my stuff. But, uh, that's a interesting thing to come home to. Another day in the life. Guys, I just located where I think all the monkeys are. And <laughs> there's a lady down there that's trying to get them out of there. She's, she's got a stick and she's swinging it. Oh, and there's, there's one monkey, I don't know if you guys can see this, but on top of that water barrel, there's one. And then there's one on top of the house. And like, if those are the same monkeys, they must literally like be on something right now. Oh, you can see them all on top. There's those little, ah, uh, yeah, they're just hanging out up there. Wow. Guys, this is crazy. I've literally been seeing some of those monkeys. Like, I saw one monkey. I wasn't filming. I was uh, sending a voice note. But while I was watching, one of the monkeys grabbed the other monkey and literally threw it off the roof down there. Uh, I'm assuming those are the same monkeys that had just broken in. And so, like, there's a chance those monkeys could be high because they broke in and they ate the pills. Like, I feel bad for them, honestly. But, like, I mean, how was I supposed to know that, like, someone was going to break into my first aid kit? <laughs> or break into my room and then break into my first aid kit? Like, I can't predict that. Let's see, there's the lady down there. <laughs> Those monkeys just aren't giving up though. But you can tell she does that a lot. I mean, that's a huge stick. And it looks like it's made for just like shooing away the monkeys. All right, guys, the room's pretty much cleaned up. I'm going to actually leave and get something to eat. But um, yeah, I got, to be honest, I got very lucky that stuff wasn't destroyed. Like the fact that they walked on my laptop, they didn't urinate on it. Super lucky. Now that I've had some time to absorb what happened, it could have been worse. And now it's kind of a fun story that that all happened, but... Uh, I do want to say thanks so much to the hotel that I'm staying at because they somehow like had spotted that the monkeys like had jumped in so like they probably would have done a lot worse damage but it sounded like they went through the other room jumped over the balcony and uh, like shoot them all away so Ooh, got lucky there could have been worse but let's go get some food guys all right guys we got a place to eat right over here it's only a few blocks away from where I'm staying which is the Sandriana and so right over this way Right over this way we have, I don't even know what the name of the restaurant is, but at night it was like lit up nicely. Hello Machang. And so, yeah, last night when I walked past, I think it was last night, yeah, yeah, last night, I was like, oh, this place looks really inviting because it's like three levels. I want to say it's like Chinese, Western food and Sri Lankan food. And on the rooftop they have lights during the evening, so it's nice. Hello Machang. Oh, it's much clearer. It's open now tonight to eat. It's kind of a vibe up here. This definitely looks like the spot to hang out. Here, here's perfect. The best scene in town, yeah? Yeah. And what's your good name? Yeah, Senani. Senani. Yes. Nice to meet you, Senani. My name's Mac. So I'm excited to test out the food here. I hear it's one of the best restaurants in Candy. Yeah, perfect, perfect. What do you recommend I eat here? We have a la carte. Yeah. A la carte, perfect. Well, once it arrives, guys, we'll give you a, a look at what the uh, menu options are. We've got quite a few options here. So we're over here at Oak Ray. Okay, yes. Yeah, Oak Ray, sweet. So we've got uh, drinks. Oh, yeah, this must be the drinks menu right there. Oh, fresh fruit juice, uh-huh. All right, well, could I please have a... Could I please have a passion fruit juice? This is a cordial. Okay? What does that mean? Uh, cordial is a uh, not fresh one. Uh, oh, it's not fr oh, it's not fresh, okay. Thanks for letting me know. Let's do a, um, we'll try lime and soda then, yeah? And that's what we'll do for drinks. And over here, we've got the uh, food menu here. It's a Chinese food. Oh, uh, Chinese food. Would it, which is the best, Chinese food or the... I uh, grilled menu too. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So we've got a lot of different options. Grilled items. We've got some seafood items in there too. Even a little kind of like mix of street food on this side. And then oh, pastas. Oh, baby, baby. Can I please have the pasta with pesto cream and chicken? 
and there's also burgers and shawarma. But I feel like the uh, the Italian food's just calling my name right now, guys. I need something that's like that. You know, I haven't eaten yet today. I've been for some reason in this habit where I haven't ate breakfast and I basically just eat like a almost a late lunch and then a late dinner. So I think that'll do. Estute machang. We've got nice views up here, guys. As you can see, that's the candy viewpoint. So that's the one where like pretty much everyone goes there that you've seen in a couple of my videos now. And honestly though, like this, this seat where I'm sitting is probably better than the candy viewpoint because looking out this way, like we can see all they can see and more. All right guys, the first item has arrived and it looks uh, very tasty. It's non-alcoholic, just FYI, but it looks like it's a mixed drink cocktail, but. <sighs> it's almost like a carbonated lemonade, guys. Very nice. Oh, that looks delicious, my friend. Oh yeah, that's some fresh pesto pasta, yeah? Thank you very much. Looks delicious, thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this, guys. We've got pesto, we've got some cheese on there, a little bruschetta right on top. Let's try that out first. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's G-O-O-D. Good. Mm-hmm. Well, let's dig into the good stuff then. So we've got chicken in here. Mmm, that is very nice. Very creamy pesto, good amount of cheese up top. Chicken, probably could have used a little more chicken on it to be honest with you, but. Still is very good, very delicious here. I think I'm even seeing peanuts in there. Let me test it, some sort of nut. Mmm, it's tasty though guys. Guys, the monkeys are over here now. They've they've come to the restaurant I was just eating. I literally had to run for my table. My portable charger's there, there's a monkey there. There's a bunch of monkeys coming down this way. Like, they're everywhere. There's baby monkeys, there's, a, there's another big one climbing over there. Oh crap, now they're circling me. Holy crap. All right, yeah, this one's coming over this way. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. All right. And this guy's going this way. They literally have taken over the restaurant, guys. Holy <laughs> They've literally, oh, there it goes. They, they literally took over the restaurant. Holy crap. They, they literally took over all command posts. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My portable charger's over there. But luckily it's pretty heavy, so I don't know if they'll grab it. <laughs> oh crap, he's up. He's on the table now. No, this guy's got my, oh, he's got my portable charger. Oh, no, they're ripping apart my portable charger. <laughs> what the f is going on right now? And they're on top of the roof now. What is going on? Why are there so many monkeys taking over this here? Whoa, what? <laughs> The heck is going on? Are they? Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Guys, the good news is they must have not eaten all of the pills because, as you can see, they're liquid gels. They're like the pain relievers and they're kind of exploded all over there. And then the uh, malaria medication. So that's a good sign of relief that they didn't eat all of those. But uh, my balcony's way up there. You gotta watch out for the monkeys here. <laughs> the monkeys are always looking to get into anything. Monkey. Yeah, I had to leave the restaurant because they surrounded me. The monkeys surrounded me at the restaurant, I had to leave. Hello, Machang. Oh, guys, what an eventful day. The monkeys just did not want to leave me alone. It was funny, made for a good story. <laughs> I still can't believe it. it just you know decided to go in my hotel room But no one ever actually told me that there's monkeys around here and surprisingly the other days when I was hanging out on the balcony right here I never saw any monkeys and it, it literally wasn't until today. So Like of course if I had any any like possible Sense that monkeys were here that they could come inside. I would never leave it I would have of course kept it closed, but I had no idea. So yeah, that was crazy. Then I went to go get the food. Literally, that's where I was, right down there, guys. And <laughs> they followed me over there. They just wanted to give me such a hard time today, but it made it for a lot of fun. So really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you have, make sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more videos both here in Sri Lanka and all around the world, hit that subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.